Mashima. Mashima is one of my favorite mushrooms of all time. It is called Women's Island and is very famous in Japan for supporting immune health and women's health. Uh, and it's also a powerful adaptogen, so helping our body uh, support itself against occasional stress and fatigue. So it is most notably famous on the specific island off the coast of Japan that has a high density of mulberry trees where there's a high density of this Mishima growing off the side of them. And it's really, although it's very famous in Japan, it's starting to make its way over to the United States. And it's why that we wanted to put Mishima in a lot of our products because we love it so much. It has a ton of main beneficial compounds and it's something that I think everyone should have on a daily basis. Now, not all mushroom companies are made the same. Some won't use Mishima mushroom itself, but something called mycelium. And so mycelium is like the roots of the mushroom and they have a fraction of the main functional compounds. And to make matters worse is a lot of times this mycelium is grown on a filler media like rice or oats. And the final product is about 80 to 90% this filler rice or oat powder. So if you're looking for mushrooms, make sure that they're actual mushrooms. And that's one sure way to get uh, a lot of the main functional compounds that you're looking for. Another way is to, making, is to make sure that the company is dual extracting their mushrooms. So using alcohol and water uh, to pull all the goodies out. And so it's bioavailable for the body so you can stay in optimal health and feel the best that you could possibly feel. That's a little 101 on Mashima. There's so much more to talk about, but hopefully that inspired you to learn more about Mashima and for other functional mushrooms out there and other mushrooms, period. There's so much out there and so much to love. That reminds me, as always, much love and may the spores be with you.